Hi, I'm Kofi. I'm here with Raymond. Raymond's lived in um, Kuala Gardens community um, sheltered housing for around 11 years. He knows this place well. He's been through this community. He's seen you know, the kind of damage and decay over the last couple of years. So Raymond, tell us more about what's happened in the last couple of years. We went nine weeks without hot water and heating. I can't remember how many calls I've made to the council, how many other calls other residents made. I had to get in a taxi and go to friends' houses in the middle of the pandemic when I wasn't even allowed out because I'm one of the high risk people in my lungs. And I had to go and get so I could have a watch so I didn't have to lay there and stink. Mm. One clever bugger um what's it uh, access told me to boil a cat when I have a strip wash. The water tank, fresh water tank gets burst and all the ceilings have gone brown where it's seeped from. It's disgusting. I think we would have got nowhere if it weren't for you people. You were saying to us when we came through um, that certain you know, parts of the place haven't got fire extinguishers. No place. And the, the um, London Fire Brigade. Well, they rang me and they asked me what the council had said and I said, the fire officer at the Croydon Council said, he didn't want to scare the residents with, with seeing fire extinguishers. They've been there 11 years. Why suddenly worry about, I think it's down, they just don't want to maintain them. Councillors, we've never seen them. They do not, I don't think they know Koala Gardens exist, except one who came round with um, Steve Rogers, Steve Reed. And that was the only time I've ever seen a councillor. That was during an election week. To be quite honest, Steve Reed's a waste of space. I'm, I, and I'm a Labour man. They just don't care. And as an official Croydon Council said to me, you're in the wrong part of Croydon. You have to be in South Croydon. Why is that? Better councillors and they get stuff done.